everyone, my name is Maya, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. But today we are going to be starting Until Dawn, which is the last of the current Supermassive games I have, uh, that I own. Um, soon, cross my fingers, Casting of Frankstone will be coming out, and that will be fantastic later on this year. Um, the Until Dawn uh, Next Generation update, uh, ne the next the next gen uh, remaster is coming out. I will be, I will buy it, and I'll probably play that. Play, play it again. I will play it again uh, because I like this game. I love this game mostly because the love of my life, my celebrity male crush, Romeo Malik is in it. I love this man. <laughs> I love this man. If you don't love him, I don't know what to say. This man is perfect in every way. Even if he has Twi Twilight as one of the movies he's been in, you can't win them all, but he's amazing. But that being said, um, bu 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 bum. if you hit, can you just, you know, hit the subscribe button. It, it really helps me out. Um, but especially if you guys enjoy my content, I post fairly often. Um, but yeah, but that being said, uh, if you like it, if you like the video, you like it, if you dislike it, you dislike it, and I will just be hopping right into this. I am scatterbrained. Oh my god, I'm so scatterbrained. Um, but here we go. We're gonna hop straight into this. The butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Some branches. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. And we will be doing our best to keep everyone alive. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. I haven't played this game since it came out. It's been a while. It's a long while. This is the game that started my love for movie games. I also just love like the campy horror, like throwbacks. I love it. This makes me want to go go and watch like some really bad '80s horror movies. <laughs> Machete. Oh my god! I can't believe you actually did this. <laughs> think this is a little bit wrong. Come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my I'm not making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Uh, just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Eden is so pretty. Oh, this isn't creepy at all. She's there. Shh, shh, shh. Mike. Mike? Hi. It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Ah, there's the love of my life. <laughs> Did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Okay. Got how bad the controls were though. And the camera. Chris. Josh. Wake up. Make up. Jeremiah Crag. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. <laughs> well, that's what brothers are for. What's this?
Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Um, bad shit. Got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little. Why would you go along with this if you have a girlfriend? See where it goes from there. Oh hell yeah! And why would you want him as your boyfriend? Oh my god, she's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god! And he's recording this. What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. This all got out of hand, but stupid prank. Uh. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! Yo, y'all are fucked. That's not a prank. That's like borderline sexual harassment. Uh, wake drop. Oh, it's gonna give you the percentages. Um, obviously, Josh is fucked. Guys! There's someone outside. What the hell? What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! It was just a Hannah. prank, Han. The prank. So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. What? What's this? <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Uh, fast, 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 fast. Get our, get our sister. Oh, these are way, these are really fast quick time events. How does motion controls work on the PS5? Because I'm playing on the PS5. Uh, all of the footprints? I'm assuming that's our sister? Noise could be anything. Oh, boy. Maybe I made a mistake. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna be recording a lot of these back to back, so sorry about no outfit changes. This update. Hannah. Hey. Hmm. How do I walk faster? Not walking faster? I guess. I, I guess that is walking a little bit faster. Hold L one. Okay, yeah, L one. Man, the controls are a little bit janky. this oh yeah i need to make sure that i try to keep the, a good eye out trying to find all these i highly doubt i'll find all of them but i'm gonna try oh that's i especially want to make sure i find all of them i forgot about that Twenty clues for the twins. Twenty-seven clues for nineteen fifty-two. Thirty clues for Mystery Man, and then all the totems. Got it. Okay, gotta gotta keep a keen eye out for everything. Excuse me. Somebody's sending a flame to the forest. Oh, really? You're gonna? I mean, what the hell was that? can there be a forest fire in the winter? Hannah, not possible. Hannah, hello. Hannah, oh my God, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. 
I'm such an idiot. <laughs> so dumb. No, you're fine. You're fine. You're just, you know, you're being... Hannah? You're being a teenage girl. It's fine. You had a crush. <laughs> Oof. Oh, and you ran right to a, a, a cliff's edge. Fuck. My god. I would be trying to reach up with my other arm to, like, pull... My back hurts just watching. There's no way she survived. That's a broken spine. The analyst. Dr. A.J. Hill. Before we begin, Any sirens? there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. Understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want future. you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. See it through. Sometimes, it. sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. There are sirens. Also, he sounds like he's eating his tongue with the way he pronunciates. Enunciates? It's pronun pronunciate. Pronunciation. Is that a real word? I hope that's a real word. I'm using it. But yeah, he just sounds like he's eating his tongue as he's as he's talking. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Um, no, it actually makes me feel really uneasy. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Before I answer that. I actually want to turn off the global stat. It's kind of ruining the immersion for me. Uh, the scarecrow. It is absolutely the scarecrow. I see. I have I automatonophobia see. for those who forgot. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Let's say a week, for example. No, I probably wouldn't. Well, no. Why not? The scarecrow was the original was the original problem. The second problem is that there's a cornfield surrounding a farmhouse. Um, that's every horror movie ever. Is there something else in that picture that scares you? The corn. It's always the corn. I'm mean, seeing children of the corn. I'm gonna be sacrificed. <sighs> that's intriguing. 
But perhaps we can explore the depths of your fears the next time we meet. I'm afraid we're out of time for now. You sure? Um, da -da -da -dum. There are sirens going on in the background. What is happening out there? Are we in a city? What is happening? I love this theme song. This is going to be copyrighted, though. such a pretty lady we watched scream six last night um and all i can say is she just she ages like fine wine she's beautiful oh rami malik um so if you're not familiar with a lot of rami malik stuff uh obviously he is obviously in, in case you guys have never watched the Anaya at the Museum, he plays, um... Achman Roth? I remember last time I watched I watched Anaya at the Museum, but I, he, pl he plays the Egyptian, um, pharaoh in Anaya at the Museum. Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein is in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Anne. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. <laughs> all right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And, uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for... For the sake of my sisters and, you know, okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? <laughs> Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> uh, seriously, um, some other things you might be familiar with Rami Malek. Um, he is, I keep saying, um, I'm so sorry. He's in more modern media, popular media. He is the main character in Mr. Robot, which is a fun hacker series. And then if you like, if you want to see some of his earlier stuff, he has a great TV series called The War at Home, where he plays a young gay, young gay boy <laughs> who his best friend's parents have taken him in because he's gay. 
and they're very supportive of him, especially the concern. I think this TV series was like the 90s. So it was it, very progressive for when it was made. Obviously, there's still some very not good takes on things, but you know, it was really good for the time it came out in. So, I don't know, I really love that series. <laughs> I, know, I just have the biggest celebrity crush on this man. Memento Mori, 10 hours until dawn, chapter one. And I'm going to try to make each each episode um, a chapter. So some of these some of these um, videos may be a bit longer, some may be a bit shorter. It's really just dependent. Damn Hannah's best friend, diligent, considerate, and adventurous. That being said, if you like Hayden Panettiere, because she is, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her last name right, um, she's a really beautiful lady. Um, obviously her, I keep saying obviously, as if you guys should know this. Hello? In my opinion, you probably should. Someone there? Her biggest TV series was one that was canceled, unfortunately. It's called Heroes, and she's a teenager with the superpower of what, what would it be? Immortality? In, not invincibility, because she can still get injured. But, like, she heals really fast from injuries. But I don't know if that's technically immortality either. I don't know. She's got a lot of really cool stuff. Any stuff here? What's this? The gates busted. Climb over. Chris. Oh, what? So how do I get there again? Change at terminus. Can I read the front of that, please? Okay, well that well hold on. Well let me try to open it. I did not watch anybody else playing this oh, to Jesus, never mind. remind myself of what happened so I don't remember a lot of things. <laughs> okay, I'm up. Now nah, let's be quick, we got this. She's adventurous. She'd probably want to go fast. Jump. Oh, shit. Nope. Try this again. Gotta get better at quick time events, guys. Okay. Jump. If I know anything about these games, it's you've got to be quick at doing things or else you'll never get to things in time. You be safe, you're dead. You be safe, other people are dead. Regardless, if you take the safe path, you're probably dead. Okay. That just shows me the gate again. That's really cool that our footsteps get left in the snow. Squirrel. Hey, little fella. You hungry? Huh? Don't move. <laughs> hey. Nice. Very nice. Okay. I remember right though. There is a totem somewhere in this first little section. I miss it already? No, I don't think I did. Is it next to this? Yeah, it's next to the black. Okay. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death. Uh, black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. And white butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Nice. And this is a yellow one. I'm looking at that color, right? So you... Let me pick it up! The bird! Michael! Okay. Let's see.
So look at, look around, keep our options open, try to find things, explore, be thorough as possible. Here. The past is beyond our control. Interesting. Uh, hold on, see if I can look at that. To lower cable car. We are here. Cable. The lodge. Ranger path. Sanatorium. I think there is a sanatorium up here. Okay. Chris? Are you here? Can we open? Locked. Unfortunate. Unfortunato and avocado. An avocado. Um, um, I have no filter today. I apologize. Here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? <laughs> Hello. What do we have here? Uh, no. Be a good friend. Just close this bag. It's fine. Sam, hey, you made it. <laughs> I hate the way the motion capture at this point in time is because the way they smile just makes them look really creepy because of the teeth. Chris has a crush on Ashley. He's methodical, protective, and humorous. Sounds like a good best friend. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? They kind of? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. Blow your mind. Okay. Keep on walking. What's this? Come on. Oh man, look at this. Wanted nice. Milgram Victor. Think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. Wait, comes up here? So before I wanted to explore. Yeah. What is Come on, it? Look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, Why not? Dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Want to try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. All right, here goes. Okay. Right, you're gonna be an excellent shot, Chris. You got this. Chris, hard to shoot. Wait, is this a pelican or are these actual bullets? Alright, I'm bad. What the fuck I'm is this bad. dance? I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. You one for the one in the far back. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. That was pretty far, Sam. It was pretty far. Do not shoot the squirrel. Don't shoot the squirrel. Leave the squirrel alone. Nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <laughs> I love Good him. Shooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Oh, just take the gun with you. Oh, Chris now. Nice. Okay, 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 okay. Your shadow's kind of terrifying, Sam. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Year goes fast. Does it? Does it really? Actually, it probably does. Yeah, that's weird. When you're dealing with loss. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. 
Well, it's fine because I have the key. For I am the key master. You. Not real gentlemen. Oh, those are some cool snowboards. Clear. Must be really hard on Josh. You think? I I don't know how it keeps it all together. I could be wrecked. No, well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. Go ahead, minutes. Authorized personnel so only. He seems like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help, you know. Blackwood Pine what Hotel and Sanatorium. What a crazy set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. Not so rich. Only bottom mountain. Okay, hold on. I need clarification on what a sanatorium is. Hey, Google, what's a sanatorium? Google's taking a bit. Hold on. Sanatorium is a historic term for a specialized hospital designed to treat specific diseases, particularly chronic illnesses like tuberculosis. These facilities were known for their focus on fresh air, sunlight, and rest, and were often situated in rural areas with a helpful climate. I guess that makes sense for up in a mountain. That's got to be a lot of fresh air. Okay. Cameras. Hey, man, that's the bathroom. That's the bathroom. And that's where we are. The car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time in the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's I don't know. Big mountain. Pretty close if I can hear it. Nothing else in here? You gonna publish? Your pretty poem. The Sleeping Giant of Blackwood Ford. Oh. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, well, it doesn't look like there's anything else in here. So hop to the cable car. Uh, you coming? No. Uh, well, I was going to stay here and catch some disease, but... Okay. <laughs> Boom. Butterfly effect. It's like going to the prom. Cable cars are actually kind of terrifying. Not even going to lie. Being up that high in a yeah. gondola. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, I'm too close to really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> oh, this you is... You know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. <sighs> you know what? You're right. You know, a lot of secondhand embarrassment here. No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, that's a long ride. God, you have to really trust that that cable is strong. Yes, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, and irreverent. What does that word mean? Google. What does irreverent mean? God, I swear Alexa works faster. Irreverent means lacking proper respect or seriousness. It can describe someone who makes light of things that are usually considered serious or important. For example, 
an irreverent remark about a religious figure can be disrespectful. Irreverence can also be playful or humorous, but it can also be offensive. Yeah, that sounds like her. That sounds like Jess. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. There are things here we can explore? No. Oh my god! Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Hmm, I guess. It's a really weird way to open a door. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Especially Another from the outside. Marion, I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Uh, explain. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. <laughs> getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys. Wait a minute, how do I? Just honest? Relationship went down with Sam and up with Chris. Because she was honest. Terrible went down. Funny, brave, romantic went down. Seems kind of weird, but okay. Ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? <laughs> I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. And that cable car was Did zooming. They built the lodge like right where the cable car ends. So Emily, Mike's ex, she's intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend, who is Jordan Fisher, our Disney star. He's motivated, ambitious, and active. Oh. And where's the bellboy when you need one? I'm assuming there's not going to be collectibles for us to grab when Mike and not Mike chilled. when Matt has both his hands full. No, I'm getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's going to be weird seeing everyone up here again. I mean. What do you think? Jesus! <laughs> Fuck you, Mike. Mike, Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, and persuasive. No, do you and Emily have the same... Same... You guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Uh, just be welcoming. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just, uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh, uh, do it! Totally. We're so gonna make out. <laughs> uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trail. All right. See you, man. Okay. See ya. All right. See ya! Okay, I think I like Mike now. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. 
Turtle went up, funny and brave and romantic and honest went down. Relationship went down a little bit with Emily, but it went up with Mike. It's fine. Our we can get our relationship back up with Emily later. Oh crap! What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, oh. all the bags. Um, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Okay, I'll go. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Ah. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. You don't think it's a little sketch that she's going back after her ex-boyfriend just left? You don't think that's a little sketch? Charitable went back up. Romantic went up. Honest, funny, and brave went down. But our relationship with Emily is back to normal. See, I told you guys that we could make that, we can bring that back up. We just kind of made Matt a pushover, didn't we? Oh my god, Ashley! <sighs> Has a crush on Chris? 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 You gonna speak with the lisp from now on? No, uh, I took this. I, 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 I learned how to talk without a lisp. really bad right now because I have a tongue I have a tongue stud, but okay. Uh moving on. Moving on. She's academic, inquisitive, and forthright. Don't be forthright. That can lead to some problems. Okay. See Whoa, I told you hello. somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. You might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Matt. Hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare you. Well, I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, uh no. Let me check. Not it out. at all, actually. Ah, uh, mislead. Mislead. Don't break his poor heart. Yeah, it's. It could be nothing. Kind of busted. It's not, it's not like really interesting. It's just. What? For real? I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Oh, it's just. No, really, Matt, it's not worth straining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it, so just no. No. All right. Um, uh, sure. If you say so. I do, in fact, say so. I want to save your heart. You don't deserve the heartbreak. It could be nothing. It could be nothing. Still not right, but it could be nothing. We're gonna give Emily the benefit of the doubt. Why do we have a book? Let's read the book. Let's read the book. <gasps> what did that say? The gossamer? You did not just do that. <laughs> Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. Who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, nope, never mind. I'm done with the bit. The strapping military guard come to take me into custody. Uh, grab snowball. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh! Great. Good pay. You know that? <laughs> Another Where snowball. Hiding, little chickadee? It's a really, really, really weird way to flirt. Hey! Oh, snap! <laughs> oh, don't hit the bird! Don't hit the bird! Leave the bird alone! Hello? Come on. 
Hey, Mike. Boom. Oh, okay. You got me. Okay. There is some secondhand embarrassment right here. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Um, don't do anything. Go hit the bird. Leave the bird alone. Hit Michael. Bye bye, birdie. go down uh, that. i don't think so <laughs> i think you'd know so if i did e. all right all right my my so are we calling it my favor then your worthy opponent miss jessica the snowball queen okay that sounds vaguely dirty my lady my lady uh kiss him cute this was like a cute relationship stuff um it's very cringy but they're supposed to be teenagers, so it, it makes sense. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <gasps> we should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Hello again. And how are we feeling? Huh? Seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages, you will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Makes me the most anxious. Um, men worry me. I'm five foot one. Men are scary. Uh, crowds scare me. Anything could happen in a crowd, and that's horrifying. And I guess as long as you're not flying on a Boeing, you're fine. Like you're drowning. Did you know if you drown in salt water, your the salt intake into your lungs uh, means you're drown. It starts to pull the blood into your lungs, and you drown on your blood instead of the water. Terrifying. Uh, I love them both though. I I kind of want both of them as pets. Um, I'll let you would probably say rats though. You know they they carried the bubonic plague and all this. They carried the plague. I just scary. If some if somebody has a gun and somebody else has a knife, they can run to you faster before before you even think to pull the trigger. Cockroaches. Cockroaches. Speaking of cockroaches, you know that one scene in the was it? It's like one of the last Freddy movies where it like shows his mom Amanda giving birth to him and everything, and then the one girl has scarecrows. Guns are um, and then he kills the one girl in a giant ass bug trap by turning her into a into a cockroach in her dreams because she's scared of bugs. Yeah, that that scene. Uh, or. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Why are you side eyeing me like that? Try to. You. Speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. I think I'm being pretty fast about this, guys. Even though I'm, I'm giving you guys a little, lots of little spiders. <laughs> this, 
Spiders make you want to throw. Needles! Oh my god, needles are terrifying. I say that as somebody with 24 piercings. Um, but medical needles? Blech. Scarecrows. Scarecrows. Zombies are at least used. At least used to be human. Scarecrows should not be. Uh, needles! That's not a dog, that's a wolf. But they're just good boys. Needles! Speaking of needles, you know that one saw trap? You know? The one where Amanda falls into, into a needle pit? For answering so diligently. <laughs> Spiders, scarecrows, and needles. Oh my. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> sounds like a saw movie. Oh wait, it kind of is. Uh, oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. It with horror movies and games and girls named Amanda. We just played this obviously just we know what happened. A little bit. Oh come on. She deserves it. Hannah What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank hand. It was just a prank hand. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. So I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah. Okay. That is why we're going to call this one. I do hope you guys are enjoying this. I love this game. I love the. I love this company in general. These developers are great. Yeah, so I do hope you guys are enjoying this. If you like it, please let me know in the comments in the below. Hit the like button, subscribe if you feel like it. And I will see you all. Oh. My next video. Bye bye. <laughs>